Hello, thank you for tuning in. Um, I have a word from the Lord. It will be in the description box below. It's a little lengthy. Um, we're going to be doing excerpts from Isaiah 48 and Isaiah 49. Um, this is not for everybody, so um, pay attention. For those who have ears to hear, please let them hear. Hear you this, O house of Jacob, which are called by the name of Israel, and are come forth out of the waters of Judah, which swear by the name of the Lord, and make mention of the God of Israel, but not in truth, nor in righteousness. For they call themselves of the holy city, and stay themselves upon the God of Israel. The Lord of hosts is his name. For my name's sake I will defer my anger, and for my praise I will refrain from thee, that I cut thee not off. Behold, I have refined thee, but not with silver. I have chosen thee in the furnace of affliction. For my own sake, even for my own sake, will I do it. O oh, that you would hearken to my commandments, then have my peace been as a river, and your righteousness as the waves of the sea. Your seed also shall have been as the sand, and the offspring of your bowels like the gravel thereof. His name should not have been cut off nor destroyed from before me. Go ye forth to Babylon, flee ye from the Chaldeans. The Lord has redeemed his servant Jacob. And they thirsted not when he led them through the deserts. He caused the waters to flow out of the rock for them. He clove the rock also, and the waters gushed out. There is no peace, says the Lord, unto the wicked. In other words, I'm going to do in layman's terms. Um, I suggest reading this stuff in context. The Targum translation makes this a, a little bit more clearer, but it seems the Lord is not going to um, slay the house of Jacob who called themselves Israel um, in truth, but he will afflict them in the fire of affliction and refine them. So this is good news. And there is no peace, says the Lord, unto the wicked. I think that is the moral theme of this word. Okay, so moving on to Isaiah 49. O Israel, in whom I will be glorified. Then I said, I have labored in vain. I have spent my strength for nothing and in vain. Yet surely my judgment is with the Lord and my work is with my God. Jacob, though Israel be not gathered, yet shall I be glorious in the eyes of the Lord, and my God shall be my servant, my strength. But Zion said, The Lord hath forsaken me, and my Lord hath forgotten me. Behold, I have graven you upon the palms of my hands. My walls are continually before me. And all flesh shall know that I, the Lord, am your Savior and your Redeemer, the Mighty One of Jacob. The Lord will preserve his servant David. 